Alright guys, um, once again, not sure where I am right now. I should- Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Hey guys, it's me again. So I haven't posted a video in seven days. I know I've been slacking, but I can explain. So my last video did 300,000 likes in the first day and I was like, let's go celebration. I deserve a little vacation. So I was like, you know what? I want to go to California. But nowadays, man, plane tickets are so expensive. So I was like, you know what? Is there a way I can travel where it's a little bit cheaper? And then it came to me. I remember a while back, I saw this YouTuber. No bullshit. I am not making this up. This dude went into a box taped it up, brought some food, and literally shipped himself like through the post office, like as if you're buying something off eBay, Amazon, like as you're shipping someone something. He shipped himself in a box. It's so goddamn hot in here. Dang, this dude's a genius. Although he came up with this amazing idea, I think it's fake because a lot of things didn't add up and for all I know, he could've just sat in the box and just whispered into a camera. Don't you think if he's going through all that trouble to make a good YouTube video that he would try to capture every moment? I don't know, man. It was just kind of weird how he didn't film the part where he was in the UPS truck about to get delivered or when the UPS guy carries him to the doorstep. You know, he just, in the video, he just magically appears at the doorstep. He comes out like, oh, fresh air, but it was, like, it was just weird. Also, in his video he brought himself to the post office and was just shipping himself from there back to his house so the purpose of him shipping himself in general was just to make a good video me on the other hand I'm gonna be shipping myself from the post office to California because I just want to find an affordable way to travel and meet my California friends so let's begin first step the box so this box isn't big enough for me I thought it was but it's not so I got two boxes and I have to tape this box on top of this box it's gonna be pretty hard there you go. Not bad. Guys, I don't know how, but I'm almost out of tape, and I didn't even tape it that much yet. Fine. Pretty good, it's a pretty solid build. All right, so I secured the bottom so I can sit here and they can carry me around. I also made it taller and I might have to tape this off more, but this is like the basics of it. Um, I'm excited, bro. I think I'm gonna do one more layer just in case. All right, guys, it's pretty secure, but yeah, this is where I'm gonna be spending prior four or five days but i can't just shit myself in this box i mean it's gonna be so boring i'm gonna get hungry stuff like that so let's pick up some stuff so now we're here at walmart about to pick up some essentials so i was thinking like i'm gonna be in there for a couple days so i need something to hydrate me but water is kind of boring you know what i mean so i'm gonna have to switch it up sometimes i'm gonna have to go with the Probably a lemonade. Also, I was thinking, like, I'm trying to save as much money as possible, right? So, I probably can't afford express shipping. So, this might honestly take, like, three to four days. Like, who really knows? Guys, I really want to get hot Cheetos. But, like, think about it. Is it really a good idea? Like, I'm going to be traveling. And, like, what if my stomach starts hurting? Guys, I, I'm going to do it because that's the risk I got to take. So basically what I'm trying to do is like, I'm trying to pick like good foods, but healthy ones too, right? Like I was picking up some really like unhealthy stuff. So let's stay healthy. Yeah, guys, I think uh, I should have got a cart. And I also realized, like, I'm gonna be in there for a couple hours, so I'm probably gonna get bored, so I need to find something to entertain myself in. You guys know me. I love me some Uno. All right, push me. Whoa, whoa. I love me some Bop It. All right, so we're about to check out. It's about to be lit, you feel me? All right, so just got back from Walmart and I picked up some very important stuff. Cereal doesn't always need milk. It's actually really good without milk. First snacks, I'm always trying to stay healthy. The box does take up a lot of space, so we're just gonna... 
Let it fly. Hot Cheetos, because I'm going to be bored and I'll probably watch some movies in there, so I need something to chew on. Also got some bananas. Going to put this down lightly so it doesn't smash. Also got Cliff Bars. These are really healthy. Got a lot of protein, and apparently it keeps you not hungry, so that is... Major factor. I also realized that it's gonna be a long, bumpy ride, so I need to get something to keep myself entertained. I uh, got the Bop It, which is a classic game, and then Uno cards. But yeah, man, once again, I can't be bringing all these boxes. You know, it's too much mass. I already had this at home, so I didn't want to buy it at Walmart, but I got some bread, um, a knife, and then I got some Nutella. Uh, that's gonna come in handy big time. And then last but not least, the hydration. Got some Arizona lemonade. Once again, did not bring water because uh, that shit's kind of boring. Oh yeah, dude, they're gonna have like this little bottle he was peeing in and that seems so hard and you have to aim and stuff. So I just got this jar, I can just pee in this, close it up, and... Yeah, pretty much. All right, guys, so I kind of organized it a little bit better, and I'm going to take a step in there, right? But as you guys can see, everything, you know, is pushed to the side. I'm going to sit prior around here somewhere and just chill there. And lastly, um, I'm excited. It's going to be a mission, but I'm going to climb in for the first time. Oh. Bro, can you help me? Oh, my leg. <laughs> All right. Alright, try to kneel down a little bit. This is gonna be challenging. Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, dude. Damn, this is hard as fuck. Alright, so I tried to go from the top, and I think I'm too tall, so we're gonna do it this way. Hopefully it is. Uh, I did tape around the whole side, so if I do shake around, the box won't break. It is pretty secure. So I have my GoPro, which I'm gonna be documenting my life for the next couple days. Uh, here, I'll give you guys a little tour if you wanna uh, come in. I got the, uh, you know, the entertainment back there. I got some, uh, some stuff, stay hydrated, some food. Got, you know, a nice little sandwich making stuff right All right, so today's the day. It's about to go down. We are outside of the United Postal Service store. We're about to get shipped out real quick. Uh, on this box, it has like this little thing where you can say if it's fragile or not. So I'm going to say very very fragile so they're like very cautious with the box because there's a human in there they have to be careful i also want to let them know that they should have it this side up all right so usually they would probably have the box like this and that would really mess up everything because all the things would just follow me so hopefully they pay attention to these arrows all right this is like a little rolly thing uh, I'm gonna hop in this. My brother is gonna uh, roll it into there, get all the tracking info and stuff like that. So, but yeah, man, I'm kind of nervous. Um, whatever. I'm just gonna hop in. It. All right. So I have my GoPro in there. I hope there's a flashlight in there. I think I put one in there. It's really dark in there if there's no flashlight. So, I'll see you on the other side. I can't believe this is happening, but basically right now, I think he's pushing me to uh, get checked in or whatever. He's gonna put me through the UPS and then get my tracking number and stuff like that. It is pretty bumpy. Sorry. No, you're good.
think I can talk normally now. Uh, I was whispering at first because I was in the UPS store and there's part people working. And then I was in a car, I believe, and now I'm at some warehouse. I'm assuming. I'm not sure. Um, I'm starving. So I'm going to make some food. This is going to be a struggle. This is going to be such a struggle trying to make food on top of that. Hold a light and a camera. I was gonna spread it, but that's gonna be too hard. Oh my god. Nutella, baby. Alright, so right now I'm trying to set up my Wi-Fi hotspot. Basically, I'm trying to hook it up where my iPad can have Wi-Fi. I think I got it. Yes! Guys, I was listening to music for like the past five hours and my headphones, I believe, are out of batteries. So that sucks. But I'm gonna just put them around my neck so I look cool. Oh yeah, I think I also forgot to mention this. I actually Googled a random address online and basically this box is going to a random address. I just think it's gonna add, you know, more of a funniness, you know, to the end of it. You know, I'm not just gonna ship it to my own house. That like is stupid. Let's add a twist, ship it to some random house. Alright, so that's gonna wrap up day one. Food supply, still a lot of food, uh, so we're good with that. Um the only thing is I'm just bored, right? Like, it's not it's not too bad, everything's cool. I'm just bored. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, I'm sweating so much right now that like, it's like hard. Have you guys ever been like sweating so much where like it's hard to take off clothes? I really wish I brought water. Lemonade almost gone. I really should have brought water. I had probably the worst night of sleep ever. My neck, <laughs> my neck is in so much pain right now because I'm literally like just hunched over. I have no leg room or anything. <sighs> Pretty annoyed. I woke up and I was just like, where the fuck am I? Bump it. Twist it. Pull it. Cradle it. What? Cradle that bump it, I baby. was. I was cradling Score. it. Pop it. Twist it. Pull it. Whip it. Pop it. Whip it. Twist it. Golf it. Oh, ho, ho. this is so awkward. How do I golf Score. it? Seven. How am I supposed to golf it? I'm in a tight area. I actually didn't think about this, but my hands are really sticky from, I spilled some lemonade, hot Cheetos were on it, I ate some fruit snacks, so like the sugar and stuff. Oh, I missed. But my hands are sticky, I just feel dirty, I wanna take a shower. Guys, I checked my phone, it says I'm getting shipped out today. This all ends today, I'm about to get shipped out. It's so hot in here. Well, like I said before, 
I'm getting shipped out to a random address. I don't even know who it is. That's the fun part of this, you know? So, I don't want to come out naked. Let me put on a shirt. I'm getting shipped out. I'm not sure when. I'm getting shipped out. I'm not sure. Alright guys, um, once again, not sure where I am right now. I should be- Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Ah, 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 whoa, 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 where? Whoa, where am I, bro? Nigga, you in my house. What? What you doing, man? I don't know, bro. I was doing some YouTube thing. I didn't- What you fucking doing in that box, man? Bro, I'm not no, like, I'm not trying to hurt you. I- I come in peace, bro. You come in peace? No, I'm playing with- <laughs> That dude was gonna kill me, but he was like, you know what? If I shell him out, he wouldn't beat me up. So I was like, you know what? All right, fine. Everyone, go follow my ninja, Khalil. All right, he's chill. Uh, he seems like a down-to-earth person. Go follow him. But that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much if you made it to the end. Like the video if you like the video. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to the family. I will be dropping a video in the next two days, probably. So be on the lookout. Thank you so much for all the support, and I hope you have a great day. Peace.